something is happening in the world that we need to talk about today. If you are not living in Iraq for the weekend, you would have heard about the conflict happening in Asia, the conflict between the most violently centered country and the country that is talked about in the Holy Bible, the book of all books. And it is also talked about in a couple of other religious books like the Exodus. Since I have read the Exodus, let's just say that it is a very religiously focused country. Since its foundation, Israel has struggled to keep its country alive and well. Rephrasing from an interview with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel needed to have its own economy so that it could be self-governed and not only rely on other countries to totally fund its wars. If you were to ask me, is an amazing plan in Ukraine should take notes. Although, they say that it wanted to be a fully funded military to protect itself, it ultimately just became part of NATO and now has the backing of all NATO countries to defend its homeland, which is a great thing. So how did we get to where we are today? Well, let's take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? Starting in the year 2005 in August, according to Reuters, Israeli forces unadherently withdraw from Gaza 38 years after capturing it from Egypt in the Middle East war. Abandoning settlements and leaving the enclave under the control of the Palestinian Authority. Fast forward to January of the next year, the Islamic group Hamas wins a majority of seats in the Palestinian legislative election. Israel and the United States cut off aid to Palestinians because Hamas refuses to renounce violence and recognize Israel. So, taking a pause here, we can already start seeing that Palestine regime is not backing down and does not have one ounce of remorse or sorrow for what they did. That's because they are a country that is centered on hatred for other countries but their own. Moving to June of the same year, Hamas militants captured Israeli army conscript Ghalid Salat in a cross-border raid from Gaza prompting Israeli air forces and incursions. Skull is finally freed more than five years later in a prisoner exchange. Jumping one year ahead, Hamas takes over Gaza in a brief civil war, ousting Fidah forces loyal to Palestinian President Mohammed Abbas, who was based in the West Bank. Moving to December of 2008, Israeli launches a 22-day military offensive in Gaza after Palestinians fire rockets at the southern Israeli town of Skored. About 1,400 Palestinians and 13 Israelis are reported killed before a ceasefire is agreed. Jumping to 2012 in November, Israeli kills Hamas's military chief of staff, Hamad Jurati. Eight days after Palestinian militant rocket fire, Israeli air strikes fall. Follow. Jumping to 2014, July to August, the kidnapping and the killing of three Israeli teenagers by Hamas leads to a seven-week war in which more than 2,100 Palestinians are reported killed in Gaza, and 73 Israelis are reported dead. 67 of them are military. Then, in March of 2018, Palestinian protests began at Gaza's fenced border with Israel. Israeli troops opened fire to keep protesters back. More than 170 Palestinians are reported killed in several months of protests, also prompt fighting between Hamas and Israeli forces. Moving to May of 2021, after weeks of tension during the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan, hundreds of Palestinians are wounded in clashes with Israeli security forces at the al Quaza compound in Jerusalem. Israel's third holiest site. After demanding that Israel withdraw security forces from the compound, Hamas unleashed a barrage of rockets from Gaza into Israel. Israeli hits back with airstrikes on Gaza. The fighting lasted for 11 days, killing at least 250 people in Gaza and 13 in Israel. Moving to August of 2022, at least 44 people, including 15 children, were killed in the three days of violence that began when Israeli airstrikes hit a senior Islamic Jihad commander, Israel says that the strikes were a preemptive operation against an imminent attack by the Iranian-backed militant movement, targeting commanders and arms depots. In response, Islamic Jihad fired more than 1,000 rockets toward Israel. Israel's Iron Dome air defense system prevents any serious damage or casualties. Now, entering the beginning of this year, Islamic Jihad in Gaza fires two rockets toward Israel after Israeli troops raid a refuge camp and kill seven Palestinian gunmen and two civilians. The rockets set off alarms in Israel communities near the border but caused no casualties. 
Israeli responds with airstrikes on Gaza. Moving to what happened this week, Hamas launched the biggest attack on Israel in years from the Gaza Strip with a surprise assault, combining gunmen crossing the border with a heavy barrage of rockets. Islamic Jihad says its fighters have joined the attack Israel's military, adding that it carried out strikes targeting Hamas in Gaza and had called up reservants. But its battle does not end there because this is what is happening in Hamas citizens break through the barrier which separates Israel and Hamas and start kidnapping Israeli citizens so it can use them as leverage against Israel, which is just unreal. Hamas citizens also rape women as they kidnap them, which is just war crimes at this point. It's devastating what's happening in that region and America needs to start defending Israel. This is what happens when America is distracted and this would have never happened if America was just paying attention and had a speaker of the house at this point. When America looks weak, the rest of the world sees and they are going to act accordingly because that's the only way that they're ever going to get away with the war crimes that they're committing in other parts of the country, in other parts of the world more broadly. With that being said, it's increasingly horrifying what's happening in that part of the world and America needs to get it together because America is the powerhouse of the world and what we are not paying attention to, the rest of the world takes advantage of. With that being said, we're going to be ending off this video here because I needed to do a lot of research for this video here. So if you do want to see more deep dives like this, please like and subscribe down below because I do post new episodes of my show every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, whether it be reactions or nonetheless anything else that has to do with me, I like to post every single day. So subscribe because I do have a lot of content coming soon. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening and I hope they have a great rest of your day. Bye.